Was he going to do it? No? He seems like, yeah. <laughs> wow. Definitely not. All right. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Funko Soda Sundays. As you can see, uh, Steve was not going to do the introduction today. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, he was very camera shy today. Um, but welcome back to Funko Soda Sundays. We have another fantastic episode for you guys today. As many of you know, San Diego Comic Con has come and gone. Um, and we actually have back-to-back -back videos for sodas from San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, I know I did that. <laughs> like every single time. I know. But uh, we have back-to-back -back videos for our sodas from San Diego Comic Con. Our one today is actually pretty cool because We've it's... We've never it's, ever done this character yeah, on the channel which is, and you'll probably never see it again. Which is really bizarre because I've been collecting Funko since 2016. And I own absolutely nothing of this character. That's not anime. It's not anime, no. Um, it's... Well, go ahead. We can probably reveal it. It's Snorkel Freddy Funko. We have nothing Freddy Funko. Nothing Freddy Funko. And he is their mascot. How do I not have anything Freddy Funko related? It's crazy. Up until now. What's the change? I don't know. Okay, well... We'll find know. out. <laughs> really? You don't know? I don't remember this one. I know Tony... Or I know our next video. Oops. I know what our next one is. But... I do not know what this one is. No idea. Nothing? We still have no idea. No. And maybe, maybe Blacklight or Neon? Maybe Neon? Like Mickey and Minnie from a couple weeks ago? What? No. I think it might be Neon, actually. Like Mickey and Minnie. There was a reason why I wanted this. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what it was. Probably because it was Neon. That's my guess. I hope so. But there is the figure or the can right there. How many? 13,000. 13,000? San Diego Comic Con sticker, um, and that's what the figure looks like. So, yeah, or this is. I can talk to the people in the audience, aka my mom. <laughs> oh yeah, and... you have to make sure. Yeah, you have to make sure you show the cam. Oh my gosh! See, this is why I can't do it on camera because I cannot open it. Somebody did it. If I break a nail, mom has to pay for my next set. You said that last week. I said you have to pay for it. Oh, you said I. I don't think so. I thought. Mm, no, maybe, maybe it was. Might like... be an instant replay on that one. There we go. She's opening the can. Not. <laughs> Here we go, folks. Yeah, what what did it say? I think it might be neon. I, I genuinely feel like it might be that. Hold on. Don't look. It might be clock. Why it would be clock, I don't know. No, I don't think that's a chase. I don't think so. It is not. Thanks. Gosh, dang it. What was the chase? I, the world may never know. <laughs> no, no one Blackline. will ever know. That's the only reason I wanted to get this. <laughs> Well, I think it's cool because this is our first ever piece of Freddy no, Funko No, I wanted merchandise. this because it was beach and I like beach stuff. Yeah, you've we've already done, what, three beach sodas? Mickey Minis and then Garfield. Garfield, like all of them in the last month. Um, I just love beach, like going to the beach and everything. Well, yeah, that makes perfect sense. So that's why I wanted it. But there he is, Snorkel Freddy Funko. Obviously, if you are aware of Freddy Funko's design, he has the Funko crown on top of his head, <laughs> which he still has right there. He has little Funko crowns on his bathing suit too, which I think is really funny. He's got a, a flippers on right down here, and of course there's the snorkel. Um, and he also, yeah, he's got seaweed all over him too. I don't know why. I guess I guess he uh, he got caught in a, a patch of seaweed. Um, but there he is, Freddy Funko, my first ever piece, and probably last ever piece, of Freddy Funko merchandise. I people like collect this like crazy, you know. Like, during the Funko Fun Days events, they have the different Freddy Funkos that you can collect in the, um, in the box of fun, um, which is cool. I like the concept, but it's like $150 or something like that for a box of fun, so pretty unlikely that that's ever going to be a thing you see on Jared Opens a Box. But um, this figure's cool. You know, not much else to say about it. Um, unlike a lot of the other sodas we do, it's not based off of a pre-existing character or anything like that, so hard to say whether it's accurate. I would just, I would hope Funko would get their own mascot accurate, um, but you never know these days. What are you going to give this one, Summer? Eight. Eight? Wow. I was not expecting... Oh, yes, Freckles, too. I was not expecting that, honestly. I like the beach. That's why? Yeah, that's the only reason? I give it a seven. Uh, the details are, are there. They're, they're pretty cool. Um... But it's not horrifying looking, so obviously you're not going to give it a very high rating. That's not true. Yes, I is. give ratings to things that are not from horror games all the time. Really? Yes, for this video. Okay, maybe but I get... I'm not in. Yeah, maybe I get a little bit carried away, but uh, for the most part, I'm very unbiased. So... <laughs> Please. 
<laughs> that is going to do it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you all in the next one. Peace, Peace out, everybody. everybody.